Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri. The ABV Barrel Shop is focused on one thing, single barrels. Best of all, you can try before you buy. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to sign up for their email and text distribution so you know what they have in stock, what classes are coming up, and who from the industry may be coming in to visit. The ABV Barrel Shop, it's where single barrels live. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers traveling mini bars that are no bigger than a small purse or toiletry bag. Best of all, they are fully customizable so you can create the perfect piece that is unique for you. If you own your own business, what a fun and unique way to promote what you do. Check them out online at thebartogo.com. That is the number two in the bar to go. If you have wholesale questions, call my friend Isabel Clark at 504-481-1297. Finally, we are sponsored by the Neely Family Distillery. NFD is a family-owned business that keeps ringing up awards in the spirits world. Head to Sparta, Kentucky to experience the family history, award-winning spirits, and meet the Neely family. Check them out online at neelyfamilydistillery.com. Now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today on the show, we discuss my new business venture, and my name is Kathy Cool. Please join me in welcoming my co-host, Steve Akeley, and along with our special guests, Tim Swyatt, Darren McCroy, and eventually, Katie Joyce. Hey, gang, what's up? What's happening, hey, everyone? Hey, Hey, oh, so yeah, we've got a fun show today. We're going to be talking about Kathy's new business venture and what that entails. And uh, if you're listening to this and you own a distillery or uh, you know, maybe you work for a distributorship, uh, we'll tell you how to get involved if you are looking to expand your business in the St. Louis market. We'll get to that after the break. For right now, Darren said there's something he wanted to talk about. What is that, Darren? So, hypothetically, if you were to be locked in a house with four people in the bourbon industry for a year... Okay. Everything's provided, but you have to live with them. You can't kill anyone. Yes. Who who are you being locked in your house with? Oh God. Is Kate Upton <laughs> in the bourbon industry? I'm trying to create <laughs> a connection that gets Kate in this house somehow. <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, There's originally gonna be celebrities, and I figured we weren't bourbon celebrities. To that question, so I threw that one out. Oh, all right. Do I, I, can I get a second to think about this? All right. So, yeah. Let's say no funny stuff is involved because otherwise, uh, yes, it could take a dark turn. So it's all legit. It's recorded. It's filmed uh, 24 hours a day. So it's just who do you think you could actually live with uh, for a year, basically? Um, all right. I'm going. I'm okay, going to go I'm I'm dive in this pool. Uh, right. First off, Demetrius Kane. Okay. Because it, yep. I don't need to worry about anything else after okay. that. He can okay. manage everything, do every. He's he's just amazing. That's a good um, one. Yeah, and then I need security, so I'm going to choose Lenny Eckstein. Okay, sure. Because Lenny's a, a master of martial arts yes. and uh, wrestling, and um, and I think you you the small the small ones. I think you got to be you got to be concerned of. They're like uh, like a, oh sure a caged sure. animal something. They're angry um, too. Angry yes, issues. exactly. Angry, always angry. He's always special angry. diet, though. He'll require a special diet. That's, that's what Demetrius is for. Okay. Demetrius just throw grass on the floor. It'd be interesting to watch both of them. Just figure those it out. Those two, the, the diets of those two is completely the opposite. So, correct. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I don't think I'm going to lose. I can't right. lose with either one of those foraging if okay. I needed to have people having the forage. Uh, I will also add Turner Wathen. Okay. Because I need. Um, I need comedy in my life, and I need I need it'd be interesting to see Turner just saying, "Hey, uh, 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 let it go," yelling at him, and then him just slinging oh. shit back and forth. That would be very entertaining. Okay. Um, and then uh, you know, I'm going to take Jackie's I can off the board. Jackie's I can. I need somebody who's crazy enough to deal with this cast of characters <laughs> and keep us all in line because we know who's going to survive at the end of it. it's going to be Jackie. Jackie, Jackie's going to win. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm ready. You're ready. Go ahead. Bernie lovers. Okay. For entertainment value. Sure. Uh, I don't know if we have internet in this house, but he can he can play guitar and he can tell stories and he's entertaining. Yeah. Um, Andrew Weebrink. Okay. Because I'm yeah. a girl. Sure. 
And he knows Watch his wood. Him, and working he knows out, wood. yeah, flexing and whatnot. Right. Sure. Yes. Mike Veach, because he's got stories to tell. Okay. Good call. Yeah. And I'm going to pick Royce because I believe he can make whiskey out of anything. Whiskey out of anything. Okay. And I don't know that our, our supplies are limited, but I do believe he could make whiskey out of anything. All right. All right. So those are my four people. All right. Uh, okay. So we're, we're playing where you, they're off the board then. So I'll, uh, we play where they're off the board. I, I just threw that out there to make it really interesting. Oh, no. Oh. They're off the board. We're playing, the board. It. We're playing it that way. Okay. I will say Ryan Thompson. I mean, that way, everything, every meal's catered and whatnot. So, well, he's yeah. It's a great call. Oh, yeah. I mean, call. Call. You want a billionaire. You want a billionaire. probably helicopter this. you right out, and you don't sure. have to do this anymore. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, he comes with Pendleton. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll go Adam Stumpf. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's a good one. It's still left on the board. Mm, Who else would be good? Um, I will say Becca Neely uh, would be oh, a good yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh and McNeil. Yeah, McNeil. Oh. oh wow. Nice. So you guys have all messed up. There was one nice. name I was hoping no one said, and okay. it is Jason Bronner. I think <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's with Jason Bronner. Bronner. You're yeah, gonna have really. fun. You're gonna have yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna survive on this one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that that was the one answer I wanted. Um uh, let's see who else yeah it makes it tougher when you can't repeat yeah, yeah. great i think i'm gonna take uh demetrius is second and take nolan we okay. uh, the, the singing that can happen with those two in the same room they're both okay so you got nolan uh, you know an interesting out of all the people in the bourbon industry nolan gets uh, he's in right. the top in the top 16 i guess so okay. the rendition of sweet guy. caroline are going to be yeah. amazing <laughs> yes okay and, and i'm more. assuming he comes with all of his kids so we have like servants and stuff sure sure bunch of kids <laughs> and i'm gonna go with i think my last two spots are gonna be yes Freddie, no. Okay. Freddie, no. That's a good one. And Eddie Russell. And Eddie Russell. Eddie Russell. Okay. All right. Solid there four. you go. That's There's a, a bunch four. of good stories. There's a bunch of interesting. History. That's good classic sure. choices. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So there you go. That's who we would have in our bourbon households. Uh, pretty fun stuff. Pretty good. All right. Guess what, gang? It's time to drink. What is everyone drinking? Let's start with Kathy Cool. Kathy okay. Cool. I'm going to open a bottle of Deer Hammer. It's his okay. American single malt whiskey. Okay. Oh, by the microphone. Okay. Very good. Very good. Well done. It's going to be tough to beat. Tim, you want to throw out there what you got? Yeah, I'm going to fail miserably. I've got a well-loved bottle of the newest Planters Whiskey Barrel Pick at the ABV okay. Barrel Shop. All right. Let's give this guy a try. No, basic, not but nothing. Basic, yes. It was very basic. Oh, yeah. So basic, I couldn't even hear it. All right. Uh, uh, Darren, you're next. I have a bottle that is one of the newest things to be available at the ABV Barrel Shop. Actually, just became available today as we were recording this. And that is uh, the old Jet Brothers finish in um, Madeira barrels. Okay. Okay. That's, that's solid. Interesting how uh, low that bottle is for just being available today. Yeah, today. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't drinking on the job at all. Considering <laughs> there's a, a whole hour in between him uh, leaving work and coming on to the show today. So that's that's interesting. Uh, I've got uh, Bare Knuckle. This is not from the barrel shop. This is uh, one Ooh. before that. Just It's a shelfie. All right, here we go. Kathy's got the lead. No. no. Cute. That was cute. It cute, was but not a win. So Kathy, Kathy wins. Cheers, Cheers to Cheers. Kathy. Cheers. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and then when we come back, we're going to be talking about Kathy's new business venture. We'll do that in just a few. Okay, let's talk about the people that make these shows happen. First up is the Stave and Thief Society. Via their in-person class at Moonshine University in Louisville, Kentucky, the Stave and Thief Society is the place where you a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge an executive bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my executive bourbon steward certification. 
It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the society today by enrolling at staventhief.com. Speaking of Executive Bourbon Steward Certification, the ABV Barrel Shop in St. Louis, Missouri has developed a unique partnership with the Stave and Thief Society to offer a preparatory class to assist you in getting your Executive Bourbon Steward Certification. This prep class costs only $25 and is available to take live or online via Zoom. Graduates of our class receive a coupon code good for 15% off your Executive Bourbon Steward Certification held in Louisville, Kentucky. This saves you almost $90. Additionally, you can collaborate with fellow attendees to split travel costs when you go to Louisville. If you're interested in signing up for the class, simply head over to abvbarrelshop.com and check out the classes and events page. Last but not least, we are sponsored by Neely Family Distillery. Royce Neely is the 11th generation distiller and one of America's oldest distilling families. A visit to Neely Family Distillery takes you through family history, where you can see all the artifacts and newspaper clippings through the years from this family that started distilling in America after James Neely arrived from Northern Ireland in 1740. Today, Royce Neely and his team are crafting some of the best spirits in America. Their bourbon and absinthe offerings keep winning top honors in the spirits competitions. Recently, their absinthe made history as the first platinum winner in the absinthe category at the San Francisco Spirits Competition. Neely Family Distillery is definitely a bucket list destination if you are a bourbon fan. Learn more about their spirit offerings, visiting their facility, and the awards they have collected over at NeelyFamilyDistillery.com. Uh, I have a bottle of Lee W. Sinclair from Spirits of French Lick. <laughs> All right, let's just take a break. And when we come back, <laughs> you can't beat that. I mean, it's a fucking... That was like the best cork powder ever. <laughs> we'll just isolate that and use that for the official sound of cork powder. I mean, my God. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bourbon Daily. Today we are talking about me. Yes, we are. So, Kathy, you got a new thing going on. Tell us what you what you got happening. What's going on these days? Whew. This is exciting stuff. So, um I don't even know how to begin to describe it, but what I know is I love the bourbon people and craft distilleries are left in the cold when it comes to distributorship mm -hmm. so they get into my beautiful state of missouri in my beautiful community of st louis and they go nowhere because yeah. distributors aren't giving them the quality uh time that they need and so i've over the years of being involved with the abv network and with my uh, love of educating myself through bourbon, I feel like I can do them justice and get them the representation that they deserve yes. in the area to sell their product. Yeah. So awesome. I am the voice that they need to, to sell their stuff. It makes sense. You know, there's no better example of that than right now. Now, our shop, uh, if you come in there, it's tiny, 1,000 square feet. That's that's the whole shop. And uh, you compare that to every liquor store in Missouri that we're talking in Missouri. You can sell in gas stations, uh, grocery stores, wherever. Uh, when you look at the fact that uh, we have sold more than 60% of all the buzzards roosts in the state of Missouri out of our location, it uh, tells you something that if they have the right representation, if they have people that know the product, know the brand, and also, by the way, taste it out. Uh, I, uh, the distributor came to us and said, how are you guys doing this? Uh, you know, uh, we, we can't, we're having a problem getting this thing going. And I get it. People don't necessarily in Missouri know who Jason Brunner is, who Bourbon's Bistro is. And if you're not educating them on those things and how great those things are, uh, and, and, and they see it as kind of a, it, it's, it's a mid 
overpriced one. It's a Buzzard's Roost is certainly not overpriced, uh, but but still, it's uh, it's you know ask them to take a leap of faith on something they don't even know what it is, uh, and they need some sort of representation. And I see the the difference that it makes to uh, to do those type of things. So that's that's pretty cool, Kathy. So yeah, yeah. You know, I, recently I was talking to someone, and he was saying. We, we're having an event at work and we want to have a, a whiskey there, but nobody wants to invest in the little guy because nobody knows who they are. And right. They want to get the Buffalo Trace or they want to get the Heritage brand. And I, I was just telling them, like, they, do they understand what they're missing out on? Because these craft distillers, they have so much to offer and people are afraid to even try or experiment with them because nobody knows who they are. But they're the innovators. It's sad to me that we will have in a given week, 10 people coming through the door that are only looking for the Blantons of the world and those type of things. Mm -hmm. And literally, if they would take the time to sit at the bar, if they really cared about bourbon, they were truly bourbon fans, sit at the bar, taste some of the stuff that we've got, and you'll find that there are way better things out there, even at the same to much lower price points. Because the crazy thing about the person who's walking through the door looking for Blantons, if we had it, we've had 150 or 200 bucks on there, they're a buyer. And uh, compare that to what you can get at our store for 150 or 200 bucks. Holy Please. cow. <laughs> yeah, we'll fill up a we'll box with three you. bottles. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Part of that, I feel like it's an educational opportunity of the people mm -hmm. where I'm like, okay, this is what you think you need to be looking for. Let's right. talk about it and see if you can get that mind shift change. And especially the things of like, this is something that the small distillery made this really good product that's such a limited batch that I think you can kind of convert that mindset from Blanton's to that if you have the right person right. who's actually interested. And, and and that's the problem. Not all craft distributor uh, distillers are the same, and right. you know, and their exposure might be to some craft distillers because there's way more bad ones than good ones. Let's be honest. And if their exposure to craft has been somebody who's not good at making it, they're just like, I don't like that. I, I want. Right. I like. I know what I like. I like the big guys, but let us show you some people who are doing it really good. And by the way, we can tell you why, what the differences are, why, you yeah. know, why, why that stuff is good and, uh, and, and taste it and then let your taste be the judge. And I think you can find a better way. So Kathy, you've got kind of a business kind of geared towards opening people's eyes. Right. Or beyond one, of what's happened first, at the one of my first experiences was here in St. Louis. We had the St. Louis bourbon festival and hidden barn reached out and they said, we need help at our table would you help us at our table? And I was just super excited to be there. I love their product. I love all the people behind it. And I got to stand behind their table for four hours and just, you know, people would stand 10 feet away and just look. And I'd be like, no, 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 come, come and talk to me. Like, just try this. Don't, don't stand on the perimeter and think about right. it. Come in and talk to me and to stand there and talk to, I don't know how many people I did that night and just talk about whiskey and talk about the things that I love and what what they're doing different and just let them taste it and just be like, so which one of these products did you like? What do you like? What do you want me to tell you more about? And build on that. It was it was such a fun, fun experience. And to be able to do that and bring more whiskey to people is really exciting. Yeah, absolutely. So KK, yeah. I have a question. Yeah. What steps are you taking to be the best mouthpiece that you can for all these companies? If they're listening right now, what steps are you taking in the near future to be the best mouthpiece you possibly can? Well, the first thing I'm doing is I want to talk to the distillers and make sure that I represent them the way they want to be represented. So if I'm going to talk about their product, I want to know what are the points that you want me to start with? And then I'm going to feed off of that from there because the my my skill set is having no fear and standing in front of strangers and talking to anybody about anything or when people come up to me after events and they want to have private conversations and talk to them about whiskey there's no judgment there's nothing about like oh i like you know whatever you like you like so we're going to just build the conversation from there so as long as i'm representing the the distillers the way they run, want to be represented, I feel like I've got a leg up. Yeah. And I don't think the distributors are doing that for them. Agreed. Yeah. I, yeah. There's so much of distributors that's based solely off numbers. They don't yep. take any kind of time actually seeing what's special about this company and this distiller and what makes them unique and how can I take their product and offer it to specific people. I think that's a huge gap that you're filling there. No. And if the distributors want someone to do that for them, 
it doesn't have to come from the distiller. I can work for the distributor and I right. can say, where, where do you want me to grow your product line yeah. and yeah. go out there and do that? I've, yeah. I've seen the, that gap in even some of the smaller distributors with some of these like craft style bit distillers that they just put the bottle out there and they're not doing that part of connecting the people to this brand they haven't seen. And so I think especially of what you're doing can absolutely result in big numbers and huge growth. And so for sure, any kind of distributor should be absolutely interested in that piece that you can fill of both the distiller and the distributor making both of that entire relationship successful there. Yeah. I don't, I don't see a loss on either side. So no, yeah, and I agree. And another component I know that you're doing, Kathy, at least I, I don't think you've done one yet. The company is new as can be. As we do this, you don't even have a bank account set up. I know you're going through the process to get that done. Yes. But so so that's how new it is. We're talking here, folks. So so the fact that you haven't done this yet is not that big of a deal. But you are willing to do training uh, in store for uh, for liquor stores and things like Absolutely. that. So they, they got a staff and they want to learn about the brands or bartenders. You know, if you've got a staff of bartenders that wants to learn about uh, specific brands, you do that kind of stuff too right sure if you want to know how to in, incorporate their products into cocktails or you want to when people come into your store and they want to talk about what should i buy and you just know names on a shelf the tie-in is i can i can teach the staff what's great about your product so right. that when people come in they're buying your product every you have more influence as a as a yeah. store clerk or if you're working in a in a liquor store you have more influence that you even understand so just me coming in and doing a tasting i might sell bottles to patrons but if i can get staff members to get passionate about your product then they're going to sell products every day of the week yeah yeah so and it's amazing too if you have that skill set how you can assist customers because uh, you know i know what it's like darren you can you can uh, testify here too I, that when people come in many of them like i don't know what i want so we're like well, the first question we ask when they say that is well what do you normally drink what do you like and then we can tell what's similar and why we think this might be a better option for you then we you know that leads to okay this is the brand that we think you'd be interested in and here's why we think it's it's some pretty special whiskey so yeah if you can do that sort of brand training that can help people that are in the liquor aisle or at the bar that because bar customers are the same they're going to walk in and be like i don't know i like a uh you know spicy you know bourbon like a, a, a high rye bourbon or something well well okay here's the brand that might be that might play well in, into that or something so yeah it's cool perfect example of that my brother-in-law anytime i go get a drink with him anywhere he he knows he's starting to learn a lot just hanging around me and whatever but he's like oh he always asks for the bartender's recommendation. So if they know what they're talking about, it, it just makes it a whole better system for everyone. Right. Yeah. So that's where somebody yeah. like Kathy can come in. Because how, how's the bartender going to learn about the brands and all that? So uh, Darren left on that note. That was a mic drop. That last was, that was a mic drop. It was like, hey, it doesn't get any better than that. I'm done. Yeah. yeah. Leave on a high note. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's like it Costanza. Totally Costanza that whole yeah. yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. And I will say the power of both the bartender and the clerk at a liquor store is incredible. So even it's like I have several bottles that I purchased solely because I was in the whiskey aisle looking for what I was going to look and a clerk came up and was like, Hey, can I help you find something? I recommend this blank whiskey that we just got in and being my people pleaser self, I usually will just buy it because why not add more to the hundred plus bottles I already have. Yeah. In alphabetical but, order. Yeah. Also, you with, don't have enough M's. That's so right. You might as well fill it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and then in bars, if I have a good cocktail, I'm like, oh, what did you use in that again? What was that? That or even that in my favorite cocktail bars are the ones where I'm like, here's the mood I'm feeling. Here's my general flavor profile that I like. Create me something I haven't had before. I want to learn about a new brand or a new cocktail, etc. That it, it's you can make such a strong connection with that, and I feel like so many people are sleeping on that opportunity. Yeah, and we're seeing a lot of that kind of stuff going on. Uh, you know, where we, where we educate and, and uh, the, the one that I've been, uh, you know, fascinated with recently, because I just think it's an incredible whiskey is uh, Darren's back. He's 
Mm-hmm. Check it in to see how his comment was. How right. what was it? Uh, what did the audience think of my comment? Uh, they loved it, Darren. So yeah, yeah. So we published the show. They loved it. We're just doing some follow up around. So yeah. Okay. Because it was so but successful, we but, need to but, answer Darren, some other questions. Uh, how, the power of that new mic he has, it just oh, drew yeah. it down, and the internet couldn't handle it. Yeah. It, it, Booted him off. Yep. Darren, how big has it been, you know, char number one rye in the in the store? So Buzzer Drew's char number one rye. I mean, we literally. Uh, and, we can't and keep it in. Like We, we have cannot it keep it days in. And it's gone. Yeah. And we and we it, went through it, two shipments of it already, and uh, now we're going to have to get more. And But uh, we had three bottles left today, and there was a guy in who had no intention of buying Buzzer Drew's today. I was like, here, try this. And he's just, like, how many bottles you got left? We got three. I'll take all three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So right. people take one sip of that and they, they reach for the bottle because they're always right. sitting close enough. They're like, give me that. Like every single right. time uh, you pour that for somebody, they're like, oh, I want that. That's yeah. what I want. Our conversion rate on try that and buy a bottle is 90%. <laughs> I mean, it's it's high. That, that, that one is, that, that's a special one for sure. See, yeah. and that's okay. the nice thing. It's not like, you know, everybody in the industry knows me because they don't, but I do know, I do know a few people, so <laughs> it might help. Not just to a my few own people. Yeah, just yeah, a few. You know a few, you know a few people. Yeah. I know Kathy's a few people. got that big VIP penis energy. I yeah. I have like my VIP penis is like medium sized. Oh God! <laughs> but it will be but bursting it's over the time. Job done, Kathy. It's about how you use your right. VIP penis. <laughs> It's how I swing it around. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> there you go. So there you go. Kathy's new business called Ellipsis Marketing. Ellips- Why Ellipsis Marketing, Kathy? So Ellipsis, those are the three dots that come at the end of a sentence that means something more. And it, I'm not going to show you my tattoo, but I have a tattoo and it's a compass rose. And oh, underneath on, it says. Show us. Yeah, okay. we should I'm not going to show the visual or the okay. audio right, only there podcast. Is. There you go. Wow, there, there it is. is. And it says to what comes next. Right. Okay. So to what you're... comes next. And I feel I, like this is when stuff ends up on YouTube. Just as a that's fine. I, you, oh. you know what? It's just my side. <laughs> it's a it's a girly <laughs> side. So welcome. Yeah. But um it just means like what's next what what can we do next and i feel like if the the craft distillers aren't getting represented well how do we do that what's next what's next for them yeah. i'm what's next i can yeah. represent you yeah yeah there you so go so i'm your ellipsis Kathy's right. what's next all right so <laughs> kathy uh, people want to follow your journey they they want to see what you got going on where can people find you you can find me on instagram at kk cast strength all right, fair enough. And just if you're interested, just reach out to you, right? DM you, you know, whatever. Is there anything you want to share that uh, people uh, email address? Anything you want to share? Because mm. we do get a lot of okay. stories that listen. I'll put my email address out there. It's Kathy Cool. It's K A T H Y dot K U H L at gmail.com. Fair enough. I think that's a smart move. All right, Darren, how about you? You can find me on Instagram at The Bourbon Adventures, also five days a week at the APV Barrel Shop. <laughs> He doesn't, know where he, works. he doesn't even know where he works. <laughs> right? Awesome. Yeah. Katie. That's why he's being let go after Christmas. Yeah, 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 exactly. His, <laughs> his days are numbered. Yeah. Well, that's why we have that Christmas countdown calendar. It's not actually the Christmas countdown it's calendar. Dare, calendar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Katie, how about you? Well, you can find me in the running for employee of the month, even though I don't work there, because at least I know the name of the freaking <laughs> place. That's <laughs> Yeah, but do you know how to get there? When was the last time you were there? <laughs> well, we found out why your alphabet uh, medical system is yeah, too stressful. My, you know what? My my alphabet. Uh, what's the word? Anyways, my uh, organization system is delicate. It can only yeah. handle a certain influx of bodies. Right. Right. Uh, the, the, you can find me, and also I apologize if you could hear my dog breathing into the microphone a second ago. But uh, you can find me over <laughs> on Instagram at Katie Proof. All right, Tim. You can find me on Instagram at swyguy2112 and at the ABV Barrel Shop on December 12th. Oh, nice. Oh, Very nice. Oh, that's so that my calendar. See if I'll beat Katie. Oh. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. You, you will. Probably will. Yeah. Probably will. I'm She's also five hours away, so that really right is now, a feat. So you have some time. I was almost there yesterday, but then Mark almost there. instead. Almost, though. Okay. It was close. I was within December 20 minutes. December 12th is a Tuesday. Yes, it is. What the? Yeah. Who? I mean, I know they're open that day, but like, yeah, okay. well, yeah. 
That's a big I'll day. I'll be there, Tim. I'll see you. Well, 12 12 is always a big day at the shop. So, yeah, yeah for sure. For sure. All right. For me, I'm an easy guy to find. I'm at Steve Akeley, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. We've also got a company website, abvnetwork.com. That's the one you got to check out. Everything that we do is out there. Previous shows, blogs, so much more. abvnetwork.com. Come by and see us at that ABV barrel shop that Darren can't remember. We are there seven days a week. You can try before you buy. Check us out online, abvbarrelshop.com. <laughs> Kathy, anything else to say before we get out of here? Yes, I would like to remind the audience to give us a five-star review that includes comments. It helps people find the show, which is very important to us. And if you like what we're doing, we ask you please give our Patreon page at patreon.com slash the ABV Network. Great job today, gang. Friday, we'll have a brand new show for you tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Until then, take care, everybody. See ya. Bye, See everyone. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. Hush. Before we let you go, let's talk about one last thing. The ABV Barrel Shop in the St. Louis community of Arnold, Missouri. The ABV Barrel Shop is focused on a couple of things. First of all, single barrels. We are the place where single barrels live. We go to distilleries, taste through the whiskey, select the best barrel, and have it shipped to our store where we present it to you, our customers, by allowing you to try before you buy. We're also known for the classes that we have in our education center in the store, as well as the events we have with industry professionals from the bourbon business. If you are in the St. Louis area, please come by and visit us at 6 Fox Valley Center in Arnold, Missouri. Or at a minimum, at least sign up for our email and text distribution so you know exactly what's going on in our shop over at abvbarrelshop.com. This is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network, signing off. We thank you for listening to our programming and truly appreciate your support. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production.